So of course it would be remiss of me if I didn't cover BYD. BYD have gone big in the UK and in across Europe really in terms of their marketing and everything like that, especially in the cars, right? So we've got trucks here and we've got um, a sort of a tug that would operate in and around the ports. Uh, it looks very, very familiar. Um, but something else that looks rather familiar is the BYD E-Valley. Now this is the, the, the new, all new, um, light commercial vehicle offering large van from BYD. Now it's gonna come in two sizes. It's gonna come in a 14 cubic meter and an 18 cubic meter. It's gonna come with, on the larger version, 700 kilos payload at 3.5 tons, which of course is not enough. Um, so that's why they're gonna offer a 4.25 ton version with 1,450 kilos of payload, which will be excellent. Now, I don't know if you recognize this sort of shape here. It looks very like the arrival van that is now not going to come. So I'm actually quite happy that this is uh, in the offing. Let's have a look around the back. So at 18 cubic meters, of course, this is very large, but it's nice and easy to walk in. Let's let the camera do some adjustments. There we go. Um, and also we've got the through loading bulkhead. Now you can just get in here. It's a complete secret you're not allowed to know, but I've been inside this cab area and, let, and, and talking with the designer, but I didn't know he was the designer until I'd said, wow, this feels really good. The layout is, is nice and it's easy to chuck stuff in. And that's of course what we drivers, uh, when we're delivering our parcels, might want to do. Uh, we will chuck our keys, we'll chuck the bottle, we'll chuck all of those other bits and pieces, but it doesn't feel compromised. It doesn't feel cheap and nasty. It doesn't feel full of hard plastics that are harsh. It actually feels like a nice place to go. Now, this is a pre-production model. So it may not get to market with all of that stuff. But it's a bit of a beast. And um, we've got uh, the big mirrors here. Now these could be replaced by digital stuff. Um, 360 degree cameras. We've got all of the, um, the, the stuff around the front, the parking sensors, but also a camera at the front helpfully as well. Obviously the pearlescent paint won't um, stick around, I don't suppose. But 18 cubic meters, 1,450 kilos payload, 80 kilowatt hour battery coming as standard. It's gonna carry it around 260, 160 miles or so. Could be quite good. They're talking 10 to 80% in charging in under 30 minutes. So that suggests a sort of 150 or north of DC charging kind of capability. Need to confirm that. And yes, going to come in a right-hand drive. It's left-hand drive here, but they are talking simultaneous launch of left and right-hand drive. So, is the BYD something to keep an eye on? Hell yeah, I think it is. It is, um, it's going to do a job and there's two different types. So that is the delivery version there. It's got a different floor type. And then this is the, uh, the three seat version. So uh, they've done this one out as a sort of an engineering van. So you've got Sortimo's kit in the back there. And you may remember we talked about, you know, kit to make the van suitable and fit for purpose. Um, still very blooming big, nice and cavernous. Um, I think this could have a real future. One to keep an eye on. Special thanks to Peter Keeler for talking me through all of that stuff. Have a great day, everybody.